baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Hey guys, it's Sharika and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So on today's video, I forgot to do an intro. So go ahead and enjoy the clips that I put together for you guys and then we'll be back here to chit chat. Baby girl, let the ice break. Give you all what your life is. I know what I say. Give me baby girl another night. When you want something, come on, you can ask and I never say no. You know what I say. Upgrade and nice, I can get you some. Okay, so I just made it back home from the store. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, bag everything and I'll show you guys what I picked up. Brown sugar, peaches, potatoes, beef sausage, mint leaves, lemons, corn, water, earth balance butter, chicken broth, mayo, buffalo sauce, ginger, relish, carpet freshener, hot mayo, tissue, and a pineapple. Now the ginger, I got this from the Asian market and this hot mayo because y'all know when I make my seafood dip, my mayo and mustard, I like to use the Sam Yang sauce, but they've been out. So I tried this the last time. It was pretty good. So I bought some more of this because she did say that this, this was going to be discontinued. So I just grabbed another one and then we went to, went to Costco. So I'll show you guys what I picked up. So I got some shrimp, salmon, stuffed salmon, Dungeness crabs. We bought two packs of those and I bought the box of king crab because the king crabs are so expensive now it just makes sense to just buy the box and I'm doing a king crab mukbang today and probably a couple next week so yeah I bought a big bag of or a big box of these so I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff up rinse off the salmon i usually just y'all know how i do it i pack these in individual wrappers with the salmon and the well both of the salmon the stuffed salmon and the regular salmon so yeah that's it all right y'all so this is how i do this i just slice this up into pieces probably about this thick is good enough for me. And then I just rinse it off and then this part right here, I just leave it like that.
Okay, y'all, so what I'm going to do right now with the king crab is I'm going to put some of them in the sink. And I'm going to do um, the king crab mukbang tonight. But I'm going to cut like half of the shell off. Y'all will see how I do it, how I plate everything. But I'll probably do about four of these legs, maybe. So that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. I'm going to just sit them in some water and... um. Then I'll show you guys how I set everything up because I know y'all want to see. <laughs> All right, let me get started. Okay, so I wanted to, I wanted to try to show y'all how I do this, but what I'm doing this time, I don't think I've ever done it like this. Like I want them to all be like on a half shell, like this, right? Um, so I have to just cut them open, but what I'm gonna do, I still have to have the meat out of the shell because I'm gonna cook them in the oven this time. This one flat in the middle. That one looks weird. But um, I'm going to put them in the oven. These are already cooked, but I'm going to put them in the oven. Um, and then I'll put them on the plate and, you know, have it looking all nice and fancy. Y'all know how I like it. So, I have been to a restaurant where they serve the canned crab like this honey they were so expensive that um seafood tower that me and tony had when we went to miami it only had like not even a whole king crab it had six raw oysters i think um and i don't eat raw oysters by the way <laughs> i know y'all was like oh who eat them it wasn't me okay um and then it had shrimp and it had tuna tartare and as you guys could see it was not a lot of meat on there and that thing was 85 dollars so just imagine how much something like this would be if you was to have this at a restaurant that's why i like to do my stuff myself <laughs> because my presentation is just as good if not better so Y'all do this stuff yourself at the house. And I know the king crab can be a little expensive, but you don't have to buy, um, I'm trying to see how I'm gonna do these little pieces. You don't have to buy um, the big box. You can just get you like a, a pack. Sometimes you can find two or three in a pack and make you something real fancy at the house okay it's really easy you just have to take your time but if you're good with presentation it'll be a piece of cake for you see I'm good with my presentation that's why I named my channel eating pretty a lot of people think that I did eating pretty because of the way that I eat but that's not the reason that I came up with that name. I came up with that name because of my presentation. And, you know, I like my, my food to look good. I like for my drinks to look pretty. That's just always been like what, I've, what I was known for is I'm known for my pretty drinks and my pretty food. So... I just decided to go with eating pretty. It just made sense. But a lot of people think <laughs> it's because of the way I eat, but it's not. So over here, I just have like the shells just in case, um, you know, some of the shells break up. I want to have some extra ones. But right now, I'm just taking all the meat out of the shells. So uh, it's a lot, y'all. It get messy up here, okay? But I'm going to just cut the shell in the back. And I got my 
dipping sauce going. I'm not gonna do the mayo and mustard this time. See how I messed the shell up? Not paying attention. So that's why I'm keeping some of the extra shells. But um, I'm gonna do my Florida butter tonight. I don't do that all the time. Cause y'all know I like to eat mine with my mayo and mustard. I'm gonna just try to even this, this shell out. Let me take this out. This is how you pull your meat out. Then you have your crab like that. But I'm gonna just kinda even the shell out. If you guys wanna see how I do the Florida butter, I'll link that video. Cause I've done it a few times. So yeah. This meat will go back into the shell like this. And then I'll just have it plated all nice. So I don't want to bore you guys with this. I know y'all like, no girl, keep going. <laughs> no, I need to I need to focus because girl, I'm telling you, I'm making a mess up here. I have these pieces. I'm trying to see how I want to do this. I'll figure it out. Y'all know I will. I have it looking good. So, I have a lot more to deshell. So, let me do that. Alright, so here's everything. So, I have my... Let me turn this light on. Up here. Alright. So, I have my crabs out. These are the bigger pieces of the claw of the leg and then I'm going to keep some of them like this is the end of the king crab leg so I'm going to keep these like this and make it look you know really fancy and then I'm also going to keep these like this so I have a few of those down here so we'll still get down and dirty and then these are the shells that I'm going to keep and I'm going to place the meat back into the shell but even like the smaller part of the leg I have the those right here oh I could just eat this right now <laughs> looks so good look at that and then these are the bigger pieces y'all already seen it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna place them in a pan and let it cook in the oven I don't season them or anything like that because you're going to get all of your flavor from the dip so that's how i do mine when i'm doing them this way even when i just have you know when i do my deshell boils i don't do my deshell boils like everybody else you know a lot of people well most mukbangers were putting their um deshell seafood in a big clear pan and then pouring the sauce on them i don't do mine like that i just have them just like this, no sauce, no nothing. Sometimes I might put some of my dipping sauce on top just to make it look good, but when I cook it, it's just like this. I don't do anything extra. And that's what I'm gonna do today. And then, you know, once I put it on the shell, I'll add a little bit of sauce on top just for, you know, the presentation and have everything looking good. So the next time you guys see this, it will be time for me to do my mukbang. So I'll show you guys how pretty it looks. Hey guys, it's Sharika and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you. So today we are doing some giant king crab legs and I have my Florida butter back here. For today's drink, I'm doing a peach bellini. We're going to get our dip on. All right, this is the first dip. Look at that. Okay, and I do have some lemon. So we pop some lemon on there. Let me bite this first, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I got two new candles yesterday. Sandalwood Verbena. I've never tried this one before, but it smells really, really good. So of course I got this from Home Goods. So y'all smell this. If you see it, just give it a whiff and let me know what y'all think. And then 
I got this one. It is white cypress. So it smells really good. Y'all know I bought this one last week. The French vanilla. This one smells really nice. I've been burning it non-stop. My hands are ashy, excuse me. But yeah, I've been burning this one non-stop. But I'm going to switch it up. And I'll probably... i probably do the white cypress today it smells really fresh y'all know i'm not really into like the sweet scents the only sweet scents that i really like is um the tangerine mango that one smells really good so i'm gonna burn this one i gotta cut those bits So today is actually Labor Day. Tony's getting ready to throw some steaks on the grill and then I have a few sides that I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna take you guys into my kitchen and show you some of the things that I plan on making. So let's go. I went to Fresh Market. I found my Suja drinks. Thank y'all for saving me some. <laughs> but if you guys haven't tried these already, y'all should give them a try. It is the Sweet Beets. It has apple, carrots, beet, banana, and oranges really good and then I had to re-up on the peanut ginger dressing and then I'm getting ready to make some street corn so I looked up a recipe on Pinterest I'm not too sure how to pronounce this and I don't want to butcher it but this is the cheese that they said to get I wanted to get it already in crumbles but at Publix this was the only one that they had and then this is if you guys have ever had the strip the street corn this is what they use it kind of tastes like mayo so they use this, um, some cilantro right here, and limes, and then I have the corn already. Of course, I had to stop by Publix, and I grabbed a avocado salad roll. I'll probably eat this maybe like tomorrow um, because we're getting ready to have some tomahawk steaks. So here is the corn that I'll be using, and I'm going to make my street corn. I'm going to wait um, until the steaks are done and then I'll start with the street corn, but I'm really excited. I had some at the last Mexican spot that we went to, it was so good. Um, and then you have to use the tahini seasoning. So I'll be using this, it's gonna be so bomb. I'm gonna go ahead and do the cheese. So I have my little cheese grater here. Regular tab, regular tab. Just crumble it up, I think. Oh, yeah, I could just crumble it. Oh, so I don't need the cheese grater because it just crumbles up like this. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, so here's how the cheese look. And the last street corner that I had, it looked just like this. So I did it right. Okay, 
And when I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it. Uh -huh. And everything is alright. I like how you're doing alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top of you. Dreams come true. She know she bad, better than bad. She a gun shot that blew my mind. No distance, I come by my side. Everything is green over here. Oh, yeah. Everything you want and think about. No, I got your back all the way. And everything is alright. I like how you're doing alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top of you. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at I am Sharika B and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye y'all. Personal, I 